Jack went on a car trip to another town. However, it rained heavily during the night and he couldn't see the road very well. Suddenly, he notices a large house not far from the road. Jack decides to ask for shelter for the night and wait out the rain. The door of the house was open and Jack knocked and went inside. As soon as he entered, the door of the old house closed. He found himself trapped inside. In this video on Mogul TV, riddles and puzzles await you inside the haunted house. Every room has a dangerous challenge for you. However, only one room has a key that Jack can use to open the front door and thereby escape from the house. Pause the video if you find it too difficult. And don't forget to write in the comments how many levels you managed to pass. Level 1 Main Hall, Butler's Riddle There are no electric appliances in the hall, so the butler has to light candles to light up the room. Besides, there are three light switches. Each one is connected to one of the lamps in the living room. To get further into the house, you have to guess which lamp are switched on by each of the switches. Jack can turn on and off as much as he likes. However, he can only go into the living room once. How can he check all the switches and figure out which lamp each one belongs to? So here is the correct answer. First, Jack should press the switch number one and wait a few minutes. Then turn it off and press switch number two. Now you can go into the living room. Obviously, the lamp that is lit is switched on by switch number two. The bulbs of the two remaining lamps should now be clicked. The one with the warm bulb is connected to switch number one and the one with the cold bulb is connected to switch number three. Thumbs up if you solved the butler's riddle and let's move on to the next level. Level 2. Living Room – The Riddle of the Broken Painting When Jack walked into the living room, he noticed the maid. She was very upset and asked for help. There was a painting hanging on the wall, which was entirely made up of mosaics. It was square and had four equal sides with the same number of mosaic pieces on each side. When the maid was dusting it off, the painting fell down and broke into several pieces. However, there is an extra piece that doesn't belong to the painting. Help Jack find it and help the maid to reassemble the painting. It is known that the painting was square with four equal sides. Besides, it had the same number of mosaics on each side. If we count all the number of mosaic squares on the floor, we get 22. It turns out that the picture consisted of 16 squares, and the extra part was made up of the remaining 6 squares. Level 3 A Mysterious Note In the same living room, an elderly man was sitting by the fireplace. He told Jack that he would be happy to help him escape from the house. To do this, he must get through a secret door leading to the exit. The door is located behind a large bookcase. If you pull the right book, it will open and Jack can escape. Each book has its own number. The number of the required book was listed on that note. However, someone is torn it off. Help Jack find out what numbers were written there. Now, here's the right answer. Level 4. The Trap After opening a secret door, Jack found himself inside a dark room. Walking a little further, he noticed many creepy skeletons. It became clear that the elderly gentleman had tricked him and Jack was trapped. In the far corner, he noticed an iron door, but it was closed. In another corner of the room, there was a safe that was locked as well. Next to it, Jack noticed a skeleton with a note in his hand. Numbers were written on it. Jack assumed that it was an encrypted code for the safe. However, the last number is missing. Help Jack find the missing number to open the safe.
So, that's the right answer. Level 5. The Death of Lord Stanley The safe indeed contained the key to the iron door. Jack opened it and found himself in a locked garage. Suddenly, the ghost of a strange man appeared in front of him. He told Jack the gruesome story of his death. His name was Lord Stanley. One day, he was returning home in his car late at night. As he drove to the garage of his own house, he heard gunshots. Then he was murdered. Detectives have never managed to establish what happened to Lord Stanley that night. The windows of his car were locked from the inside. They were tightly shut. No one was found inside the car except the body of the deceased man. Lord was holding the ignition keys in his hand. There were no signs of a gunshot or attempted break-in on the car. What happened to Lord Stanley? That night, Lloyd was driving his convertible with the top open. That way, the murderer managed to make the deadly shot without hitting the car. As Jack found the right answer, Lord Stanley pointed him to a door behind which Jack could find a way to escape. Level 6. Paintings by a Crazed Artist Jack found himself in a long corridor. There were several paintings hanging on its walls. Suddenly, a maid appeared next to him. She said that those were paintings by a crazy artist who had cursed him. For Jack to move on, you have to determine what's wrong. Help Jack unravel the crazy artist's secrets. As Jack answered correctly, the maid gave him three keys. Each one opens one of the doors in the corridor, and only one of them will be his salvation. It looks like Jack will have to open every door until he finds his way out. Level 7. Lab After opening one of the doors, Jack found himself in a creepy lab. This is where the elderly professor conducts his experiments. He told Jack that he wanted to escape would have to solve two of his problems. If he gave him the wrong answer, he will stay in the lab forever. If Jack finds the right solution to each one, the professor will let him go. Using the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 only once, you should get the number 10. The equation should be composed in such a way that it should include one multiplication, one division, and one addition. So, that's the correct answer. Add one line to the given equation to make it true. Level 8. Kids' Room Fortunately, the professor let Jack go and he headed for the next room. It turns out to be a kids' room where there were two little girls. They were solving a difficult puzzle and asked Jack to help them. Help the girls solve the puzzle. You'll see five identical squares. Your task 
is to move two matches so you get four identical squares instead of five. So here's the right answer. Level 9. Party. Jack entered the last room. There was a Halloween party there. He noticed that one of the women was handing out sweets to her four children. She gave candy to everyone, from the youngest to the eldest. Suddenly, someone called out to her, and she was distracted for a moment. When the woman returned, she forgot which child was the last one she had given candy to. She approached Jack and asked him for help. How can she hand out all 200 sweets to each of her children equally? So, the correct answer is the following. The woman should start handing out the sweets in reverse order, starting with the oldest and ending with the youngest. That way, she can hand out all sweets equally. The woman was very grateful to Jack. For that, she gave him the key to the back door, so Jack could pass all nine levels and escape from the house. Don't forget to write in the comments how many levels you passed. Besides, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to keep up with the new videos, and of course, leave your comments below the video.